when was the last time you took a vacation? When was the last time you, the greatest American alive, took a vacation? Go ahead and think about that for a second. I have a better question. How many weeks of vacation do you have? Not how many days, not paid time off. I'm not talking about PTO. How many weeks of vacation do you have? Better question. How many weeks of sick leave do you have? You, the greatest American alive, calculate how many days a year that you work and how many weeks of vacation do you have? Are you going to work goddamn 52 weeks out of a year and you ain't got no weeks of vacation? What is going on? The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. I'll tell you what's going on. I'll tell you exactly what's going on. These big businesses and the American government is taking advantage of you, the greatest American alive, and we can't stand for it. Hell no, we can't stand for it. We have to fight back, and the only way we fight back is through class solidarity. But most poor folks don't even know that they're in the middle of a class war. Hell no. They Listen here. This is how I break this shit down, right? I call it sucking million-dollar tallywhacker, okay? It smells like prostitution. Everybody out here is trying to have a million-dollar tallywhacker in their mouth, and that goes for me and included, okay? That goes for me included, okay? I consume a bunch of media, and all this media is millionaire-centered. It's either been spoken by a millionaire or spoken to millionaires, and we got mother people, American citizens out here making less than $30,000 sucking million-dollar tallywhacker because they're aspiring to one day have a million-dollar tallywhacker. You hear me? <laughs> That's men and women included. Everybody's aspiring to have a million dollar tally record so they can get these million dollar blowjobs. Yes, because they think that the world is supposed to uh, uh, give fellatio to the upper class, the upper elites. And I'm telling you right now, that's why you ain't got no vacation time. <laughs> I guarantee you the people that you watch on TV, every political pundit that you see, every news commentator, every guy doggone action star, they all got paid time off. They all got vacation time. They all got sick days, but you ain't got no sick days because you ain't got no negotiation. You ain't got no negotiation. Goddamn rugged individual <laughs> rugged individualism in America is going to destroy America. <laughs> They don't even understand it, man. Big business works with big business. Rich people work with rich people. They protect money, but poor people won't protect poor people. Middle class won't protect middle class. A matter of fact, the poor and the middle class are going at it more than the rich class is going at it. Right now, the rich people are walking around. They just soaring through the sky, man. They got their heads in the god dog on sky as poor folks cannibalize themselves. This is a cannibalistic state of mind, and it's wild as hell. We're financially devouring the American citizen. We are financially devouring the American citizen. We won't even think about it, right? And so they say, run, worker, run. We just came out of the global pandemic, right? And a bunch of folks made a whole bunch of money. And so they were so eager to go back outside. They was, oh, man, I'm going to go outside as fast as I possibly can. But in order for them to go outside, they needed workers to work, right? They needed people to be at Taco Bell to serve them tacos and people at McDonald's to serve the McDonald's. I need somebody to tell me, man, how many weeks of vacation does a Taco Bell employee get? How many weeks of vacation does the average fast food worker get? They're expected to be at work every time the schedule says be at work. But guess what, huh? What if they get sick? What if they have a mental health day? They don't need a mental health day. They need a mental health week. God, dog, it. I make $7.75 an hour and I live in America and I'm trying to make my bills and pay my bills. Yes. But I can't. <laughs> it's a cannibalistic state of mind. And I'm asking you to ask yourself those important questions. How many weeks of vacation do you have? How many weeks of uh, uh, sick leave do you have? And if you ain't got now, man, I'm telling you, you're getting screwed over backwards. And it smells like prostitution, but we're doing it willingly. And the only, the only reason why I say we're doing it willingly is because we won't pause and ask for something more better. The squeaky wheel gets the all. And we're asking, hey, hey, uh... <laughs> I want a uh, culture. I want these cultural wars. I want to be divided. I want to be divided based on sexuality. I want to be divided based on ethnicity. Nigga, I want to be united based on goddamn green, okay? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What's wrong with the American people? What's wrong with you, the greatest American alive? Why the fuck are you allowing this prostitution to take place? I can't do it. You hear me? And when I start mentioning fast food places, retail places, there is someone in America that will look at you, a person who works in retail, a person who works in the fast food industry and say, hey, you brokey, go get a better job. OK, hell shit. You might wake up in the motherfucking morning, look in the mirror and be like, I can't wait for the day I don't work at McDonald's anymore, which is a, a fortune 500 billion dollar company. Why wouldn't you want to work for one of the most prestigious billion dollar com companies in the world? Right. Because they don't pay you no fucking money. But instead of getting mad at them, just tell them. Hey, we ain't finna flip no goddamn burgers and fries until we get two uh, two weeks of paid vacation, two weeks of sick leave. I ain't finna do shit until that happens, right? 
But the only way that happens is if the middle class Americans say, man, fuck that shit. We're not going to eat no goddamn McDonald's until the McDonald's employee has two weeks of paid sick leave and goddamn two weeks of paid vacation. And we ain't having no discussion about it. Nigga, no more motherfucking Happy Meals for my kids until you get the worker right. Yes, this is class solidarity. This is the working class working with the poor people. And this is the poor people working with the working class. But goddamn, everybody's out here trying to suck some million dollar dick. If It's filthy, man. It's fucking filthy. Smells like prostitution. And I tell you, I swear to goodness, Project Daddy tells you fucking scouts honor and all that shit. There's dignity in every job, right? But in order for there to be dignity in every job, the person, the owner of the company, the manager of the company has to respect the American citizen. They have to respect you, the greatest American alive, and they don't because you ain't got no goddamn vacation time because you ain't got no goddamn sick leave. And I'm here to tell you, Project Daddy in the motherfucking building, hands up, hands up to the goddamn son, the greatest American alive, motherfucker. You are the greatest American alive, and you deserve vacation and paid time off. And I'm here to tell you that you should not let up until you goddamn get it. March on these motherfucking streets, 60,000 strong because you know what? Right now, there's a mother out there who can't feed her children. She goes to work surrounded by food, and they won't even give her a discount to take her baby some chicken nuggets and some goddamn Happy Meals, man. We have to fight back against the ruling class, the ruling elite, big business, McDonald's, Walmart, Amazon, you go on, you name it, fucking every energy company. Nigga, I want my motherfucking money, you hear me? God damn, I don't give a fuck about your product. <laughs> Because you don't give a fuck about my mental health, my livelihood. You don't give a damn about my family or my kids because we ain't got shit and you're still turning profits. Come here, you goddamn stock market. How the fuck are you rising while the American person is falling? We're not going to allow it. We're not going to tolerate it. You, the greatest American alive, you have to fight back. We have to work with the poor. Class, solidarity, middle class, working with the poor. We're going to come through and kick some Jeff Bezos ass. You come here, you motherfucking billion dollar bucket of bitches. I, I want you, Jeff Bezos. I want uh, uh Tim Cook, you Apple son of a bitch. You got a trillion dollars in the coffers and you're selling phones when we still have hunger in America. You owe American citizens so much more than what you're doing and I'm telling you right now. If you don't fight back, these rich folks is gonna fuck the shit out of you and you ain't gonna have nothing left to say about it except for, ouch. I didn't like that very much. They took my goddamn cookies in the greatest American life. Don't allow nobody to take their cookies. You have to fight back because you are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.